Hi guys, I'm Pranthi Samu. You're watching Overdrive and it's, it's that Ford product which many Indians are waiting for. No, this is not the Everest, not the Endeavour. This is Ford Ranger. So in case you have missed our report on Overdrive, uh, you can go and check it out where uh, we're talking about two different Ford vehicles being tested around Chennai. One was uh, the Endeavour or the Everest and the other one had a flatbed with it and that is the Ford Ranger. So many Indian uh, off-roading enthusiasts have started uh, speculating whether this is going to come to India very soon or not. So let's take a look at this car which has uh, generated so much of uh, curiosity and interest and uh, take a look and understand how different is this uh, from the Everest or Endeavour. So this is how the car welcomes you and these are the buttons on uh, the steering wheel where uh, you can see right side you have uh, audio, music control and left you can see the cruise control, various buttons and uh, lane keep assist or ADAS controls. Look at this screen which is a very vertical, huge screen and uh, at the same time you also get some physical buttons. This is the automatic uh, version and uh, we'll also give you the options uh, which are available Globally, as far as engine size is concerned, and you have four-wheel drive controls as well. And then you have some more buttons on the roof. So overall feel is very rugged, very butch and solid. You have a leather finish over here, you have Ranger badging, and then some contrast color stitchings there. And you have off-white leather treatment over here and then again lots of leather on the door panel. This is the second row of uh, Ford Ranger and I have adjusted this seat according to my driving position and you can look at the knee room or leg space which I have. So for uh, tall passengers definitely not the most comfortable uh, position to be in. Even uh, the back recline is not that great. So. For small passengers, kids, this is usable space. One of the most fundamental differences between the Everest and Ranger uh, would be the size and dimension. This is much longer. Uh, this is almost 5.4 meters uh, long and uh, this is the flatbed which can be used for right now obviously. Yeah, you can see recreational purposes, you can use it to carry stuff. In India, this is not a big segment. Globally it is, but uh, still, this is more of a lifestyle vehicle uh, uh, in India. So this is uh, the space you can look at and uh, this is fitted with 18 inch alloys. Then you have uh, a typical pickup uh, feature where you can uh, step on this to load or unload the vehicle. There are three different engine options available globally with uh, this range. 2 litre, 2.3 litre and uh, 3 litre where uh, you also get manual and uh, 10 speed automatic transmission options. Let's take a look at uh, this face of uh, Ford Ranger. This uh, light has a very familiar pattern you must have seen in uh, various attraction models and uh, many YouTube videos as well. So, this looks uh, very sporty and uh, imposing. This wraps around this center panel which runs across the face. Then you look at uh, this uh, front grille which has this huge honeycomb kind of pattern, but uh, the size is really huge and then you also see the sensor over here. So guys, what do you think about this vehicle and the features in this space? Uh, plus, are you excited about uh, this segment? What do you see the future of uh, pickups in India? Do let us know in the comment section and uh, keep watching Overdrive and in case you have not, please subscribe and press that bell icon. Bye bye, drive safe.